Okay, this is my project for the day. Taking out a lampshade and turning it into a planter. So here's what I've done so far. I took the, the parts out of it. It's sitting on top of a bar stool. I took the bar stool top off. I put a pull wing on it. I'll show you that in a minute. And then the lampshade. Okay, so here's the lampshade on my table. It's upside down. Here's the bar stool with the pool noodle on it. I put the pool, because this is metal under here, I put the pool noodle on there to protect the glass. But I'm not sure I like it. And I'm not sure the pool noodle will hold up. So I'm thinking I may get a uh, steering wheel cover for your automobile, the covers that go on it. Might get one of those. I think it would look better. I'm not really happy with that, but for the time being, that's what I'm going to use. And then I'll tape the back of it back there. So what I'm going to use on the inside is this plastic plate. I'm going to drill holes in it. And that'll help keep the dirt from going all the way through. That's what the bottom looks like after I took the light fixture stuff out. So I'll put this plate in here. So I wanted to help support the glass so it wouldn't break when I put the dirt in there if it was too heavy. I didn't want to break the glass out. So I was in my local hardware store looking at um, glues, looking at like silicone, um, caulk, just something to help that to support the glass when I put the dirt in. Um, and I really didn't see anything that I thought would work. Um, I thought about putting chicken wire in here, but then the metal might poke through the glass. So this is what I came up with. This is Gorilla Tape. It's all weather. It says it's... I can't focus in on it. But it says it uh, uh, resists drying, cracking, and peeling caused by sunlight, heat, cold, and moisture. So I'm going to tape the whole inside of the glass and that will serve two purposes. That will make it dark for the roots because uh, roots don't really like light on them. That'll help make it dark. Plus it, it'll help support this glass from the weight of the dirt. And also if a one piece does break out, the Gorilla Tape will hold it so I don't have a bunch of glass in my garden. So this is going to be our project for today. But it's a beautiful lampshade and I got it off of um, Marketplace for $5. So it's a $5 planner and it's it's big. Um, it's got to be, I don't know, 20 inches crossed, 24 maybe. So it's a good size. It's going to be a good size planner. So I've started with the tape and I've made my first go around and I've, since there's different levels, I stayed at the lowest level 
because I don't I figure the don't dirt won't be that high it'd be up to the lowest level since it's kind of scalloped that way the dirt's up to here you'll still see this part on the flowers so and it is working as far as keeping the light out you can see where the tape is and where it's not so that'll help the roots and this should hold it all together and help with the weight of the dirt on the glass so I'll just keep going around with the tape I uh, cut the tape in maybe 12 inch sections and do like 12 inches at a time instead of trying to keep unrolling and it, the tape's twisting on the roll and so about 12 inches of tape put that up 12 inches of tape put that up and I'll keep going around till I get to the bottom okay just about got it taped up I had to put some pleats in the tape as I went around because it's it's round and it's uh, got curves and sloping so you have to pleat it as you go around but all in all it's taped but as I was doing it that's probably a I don't know six inch hole where the light fixture was and as I was doing it I looked out my window and there's a bird base for a uh, bird bath and I think that base would fit right inside that hole and I could just set that right on top of the base but this planter is so big I think I think it needs that support of the the base that I have it on but I'm not liking that I'm not liking it so I think if I get a smaller hanging lampshade like this, I'm going to put it on that bird bath base. We'll see. Um, I think it would be so pretty on that base, but I'm afraid it'd be too big. Once I got dirt in, it'd be too heavy. Because this way it's supported all the way around the perimeter in here with this bar stool legs but I think a smaller one wouldn't be so heavy and I could put it on that base so I'll make a video if I find one to put on the bird bath base because I think it would look good because just imagine if I put that base coming out you'd see the whole lamp I think it would look good so I'm going to try to find a smaller version of this and put it on the bird bath base. I think you could also put it on a um, maybe a 4x4 four four in the ground and you could use the that hole right there with a light fixture to screw it into the 4x4. Four four. That may fit in there. Also maybe a round um, post buried in the ground with the lampshade on top of it I think you could do that too so I may have these all through my garden <laughs> okay I've got her about ready to plant up it's not sitting on that base very good let's see yeah I'm not liking that blue on that. We'll fix that. But this gives you the idea. And that plate I uh, have to drill some holes into. But she'll be ready to plant up. So maybe I'll do a video of that when I plant this up. And I'll do a video if I find another smaller shade to go on that bird bath. So I think I would like that better on the bird bath. So please like and subscribe. I'm going to be adding a lot of videos with unique planters 
and things, ideas that I have going on. So come back and see me. Thanks for watching.